Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning, good morning. We welcome everyone again to Everyday Communion with Pastor Raymond. And as always, we encourage everyone, hey, go ahead and get your communion elements on this morning. It's time to take communion. Bless God. All right. So this morning, our morning reading will be coming from Hebrews 12, verses 16 through 17. But of course, we know on this week, we've been discussing returning to the Lord. All right, we, we know that for so many, they have their testimony. They used to be in church. I, I used to serve the Lord. I used to uh, 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 preach. I used to be a minister of the gospel. I used to this. I used to that. But they no longer find themselves doing those things, okay? They have left their first love. They have turned back from the Lord, all right? But we are just, we're just encouraging everyone. And what? It's time to come home. It's time to return to the Lord. It's time to get back in position. It's time to come back and start serving the Lord again, my Lord. And we saw yesterday some good news is to anyone that has uh, lost their way, you know, turned away from the Lord. God says, what? Return to me and I return to you. He says, what? Come back to me and I'll come back to you. The Lord is standing there and waiting for you with arms open wide ready to receive you, ready to restore you, but you have to turn to him. He's not going to force you, my God. You got to what? Return to him. And he says what? He will return to you. It's time to come back home. And here's the beauty of all of this. The door is open and his grace is sufficient. My Lord, I don't care, you know, what's going on in your life. His grace is sufficient. I don't care what sin has, has tried to take you down, what road sin has tried to take you down, or how far you've gone down that road. My God, know that his grace is sufficient. You know, where sin abound, grace does much more abound. My God, there's grace for whatever, my Lord, you are entangled with, whatever you're struggling with. Just come home, my God, all right? So let's read Hebrews 12, verse 16 and 17. It says, Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For you know how that afterward he would have inherited the blessing. He was rejected for he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. Again, he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. Amplify says, he could not find no opportunity to repair by repentance what he had done. No chance to recall the choice he had made. He didn't find his place of repentance. My God, hear me now. Don't miss your time. Don't miss your place. Don't miss your opportunity to repent. You say, well, Pastor, when is my opportunity to repent? Now. <laughs> Good God, today. Today is your day. To, to your time is your opportunity to repent, all right? You know, I pray for anyone that has fallen, fallen away, or has left their first love, you know, it's not serving the Lord anymore. I pray for each and every one of you, my Lord, that you will find your personal place of repentance. This is not a corporate repentance. This is not a repentance of the nation. This is your personal place of repentance, all right? You know, that you don't continue to put it off. You know, don't don't continue to put it off and ignore the voice of the Holy Spirit. He said what? Today, today, if you hear my voice, what he said, harden not your heart. What is he saying? You know, you, you know the Holy Spirit is calling you. You can discern it. You know he's calling you home. You know he's calling you back. You know he's calling you to repent and to be restored to get back in position, my Lord, but you keep what? Ignoring it and keep putting it off. Ignoring it and putting it off. What is that? You're not finding your place of repentance, my Lord. Don't harden your heart when you hear his voice, all right? If you hear the Lord calling you home, come back home. Don't miss your opportunity. Don't miss and don't, don't, don't fail to find your place of repentance, my Lord. God is gracious. God is merciful. And if you hear that call on the inside of you, don't ignore it. Don't put it off, but respond to it. My Lord said, I'm going home. I'm going back to my father. I'm going to continue to serve. I'm going to get back and serving the Lord again and surrender my life to the Lord again. Amen. Amen. Don't miss it. Don't miss it, my Lord. So let's go ahead and take communion on this morning. Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you. Father, we thank you for this new day and another opportunity given unto us to come before your table, 
to commune with you and with one another. And for that, we say thank you. We take the bread right now, which represents your body, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, everything you're doing, everything you've done was for us. You was made sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God. You bore all of our sicknesses, carried all of our diseases, the chastisement for our peace, and our complete whole and spirit, soul, and body was upon you with and by your stripes. We were healed, therefore we are healed, and we say thank you this morning. We do this in remembrance of you, Lord Jesus. We discern your body right now. And we love you on this morning. We take the bread. We eat all of it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We take the cup, the cup of the blessing, the blood of Jesus. Because of your blood, Lord Jesus, we stand before the Father this morning, holy blameless, the righteousness of God, without fault, without blame, in love, all, all of our sins, past, present, future sins forgiven, never to be remembered again, never to be brought up again, never to be discussed again. For that we say, thank you, Lord Jesus. We take the cup of the blessing and we drink all of it. Saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So again, I encourage you, don't miss don't miss your place of repentance. Don't miss out on your personal place of repentance. If you hear the Lord calling you home, don't ignore his voice. Don't harden your heart, but respond to it, my Lord, and get back in position and come back to the Lord. Amen? Amen. So let's go ahead and get our favorite confession on this morning. The favor of God is in me, on me, and goes before me. The favor of God surrounds me everywhere I go and in everything I do. I expect the favor of God to be in full manifestation in my life on today. The favor of God produces for me supernatural increase, promotion, honor, greater victories, recognition, preferential treatment, petitions granted, policies changed, and battles won in which I don't have to fight. This is God set time to favor me. Amen. Amen. Receive that. Bless God. So, Father, we love you. We bless you. We thank you for this new day and all you have in store for each and every one of us. I shout grace, grace right now to all that's watching. I thank you every need of every household is made in full with abundance and more than enough. For all those who need healing and health and strength in their bodies, Father, I thank you right now that you have healed them all. And I speak peace to every household right now. And we thank you for it, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you guys. We love you. Thank you for joining us this morning for Everyday Communion. And we pray each and every one of you have a great day on today. Amen. Amen. Love you guys. Have a blessed one.